everyone welcome to the update of 15th of may nifty levels do not indicate it but in my opinion it was a good day for the markets especially if you are invested in the public sector companies including the defense stocks after the market updates there are two bonus sections today one there was a marked improvement in my approach today in my options trade second i'll try to answer some of the questions that have been asked on the videos via comments or cover some of the smaller nuances which may be very important to you for your trades and investments so let's get started in yesterday's update i talked about reliance and nifty how much their graphs resemble to each other today i traded till about 12 o'clock the graphs today also were very very similar let's draw a line 1045 for reliance 1045 for nifty see this goes up this goes up consolidation consolidation sudden fall sudden fall consolidation consolidation wix was the mirror image on the other side 1045 this graph went up this went down consolidation consolidation this went down this went up consolidation consolidation so today actually i positioned four windows like this and then did my trading for a couple of hours that is where i could avoid going against the market nifty opened at 22 250 went up to 22 300 but very soon started correcting around 11 o'clock it touched the bottom of the day 22 150 so this was a 150 point range but for most of the remaining day actually nifty was in nearly a 50 70 point range very narrow nothing there for traders so nifty had an okay day nothing happening there after three good days bank nifty minus this one good day has been kind of down for most of the last five days reliance is alternating between good days and bad days today was a bad day down minus 0.3 percent tcs out of last five days has been down and down significantly hdfc bank actually led to the fall today in nifty minus 1.7 percent icici airtel sbi all of them were in the green gold has started rising a bit now brent cooled after there was a forecast of low demand for oil in the remaining year ptc up markets were down so vix increased a little okay volatility not too much of change fidi data is still not out our note one thing that DII's per size is typically around 20 25000 for a month this is already over and we are done with just half of the month with major volatility ahead of us in terms of election results my lurking suspicion is DII's are going to run out of money in fact one thing which might be happening is DII's typically have 95 percent kind of money invested in the markets all the time and they sit on cash worth four to five percent i think to stabilize the markets they are spending the money from the remaining five percent which is the reserve meant to be used when markets really tank or give big opportunities so if there is a big opportunity there may not be any money left with the dii's this will be an invitation for fii's to short the market to sell it and bring it down and then buy it again maybe after the election results for sure the monthly expiry will not be kind at all atel was up despite the fall in profit vodafone is looking good after the recent announcements on recapitalization this may be something like a yes bank or suzlon kind of recovery in the short to medium term i'm still skeptical if vodafone will survive and grow in the longer term but for sure markets may take it up in the short to medium term mnm results tomorrow it has hit a record high today the suv sales have been fantastic ever since they announced a new range starting with scorpio n good margins good volumes for most of the products canara bank today split one is to five i did a basic analysis i have invested in the past also i like the numbers and i invested a little ia has slashed oil demand forecast for the world that is probably spooking brent right now what they are saying is Europe weather is mild, it is not very hot. Also globally, renewables are increasing in size nearly every day. So IA says that the oil demand will be compressed globally for the remaining year. Hopefully this will lead to windfall tax being removed soon in India. Siemens after the results went up. This is the annual graph of Siemens. It is up 82% this year. Fantastic news for people who are invested. However, like I mentioned yesterday, I am not too gung-ho about the stock us markets were a sea of green yesterday tesla was up 3.3 percent jpmc 1.4 percent most of these gains were pretty strong gains back to gamestop which i talked about yesterday it was up another 60 percent yesterday from 30 it went up to 48.75 this is crazy stuff a pe of 2220 
the stock will crash to probably 10 or 12 soon however the leverage shorters are dead the sequel of dumb money can be produced now the top sectors banking software oil and gas actually did not do too much today if you look at the overall performance there were more greens than red that is i was saying earlier it was a good day for the market banking hdfc down bajaj fins up down irfc down remaining everything was up coal india up 4.27 percent insurance was up yesterday also today lic went up 6.3 percent machinery and equipment mostly it was siemens 6.89 percent let's check aerospace and defense hl up 2.64 percent bl another percent mezagon docks 2.5 percent this is on top of 10 percent of yesterday food and tobacco itc nestle britannia tata consumer so basically the entire consumption pack it was down today also most of the stocks are far far away from their 52 week highs let's check automobiles mnm touched a 52 week and lifetime high rest most of the biggies corrected but still most of the stocks in this sector are closer to the 52 week highs let's check nifty 50 27 stocks down 23 up Volume wise, still most of the stocks trading lot below their average volumes. 21 stocks in their 80% or above zone. Let's sort on the change percentage. Coal India up. Cipla promoters sold a bit of their stake to raise money. That stock was up yesterday also. BPCL up, Airtel up, Power Grid up, NTPC up. What was down? Asian Paints, Tata Motors, Bajaj Auto. So besides MM, most of the auto, consumption pack, and select banks, they were all down. Nifty next 50, 24 stocks down, 26 up. Let's sort on change. Siemens up, LIC up, Canara Bank up, Indigo up, Adani Green up, HL, Zomato, Jindal. What was down? Colgate down, ICIC Prudential Life Insurance, Bosch, Berger Paints, ICIC Lombard. IT index was a mixed pack. TCS fell half percent, Infosys down 0.33%. HCL, Wipro and LTA Mindry were up. Volumes are very low in most of the stocks except Persistent up 1.7% on high volumes. Persistent seems to be on the recovery track. I have significant quantity of Persistent as investments. Bank Nifty, HDFC was down a lot 1.5%. Next four banks were up but not that much. Those two at lower volumes, HDFC's volumes were pretty high. I talked about public sectors doing well today. Most of the public sector banks were up significantly except PNB, which was down 1.15%. As of now, I have active investments in Union Bank, Canara Bank and Indian Bank. How is my portfolio looking? Slightly better. The bottom one is yesterday's snapshot. Today, the losses are down to 4.87%, recovery of another 38,000. The value at cost is way higher than my limit of 25 lakhs. I need to sell some of them or move them to investment portfolio very soon. The biggest losses are still in Union Bank and LTTS. Today I bought Canara Bank 1000 quantity. Let's see whether I'll keep it for long term or sell it in 5-10% kind of gain situation. These days I'm tending to sell off the stock if it's giving 5-10% profit. Markets are volatile. I don't want to see profit in front of me and then it evaporates. Has happened to me a lot in the last one year. Today's options trade. All the trades are within first page. 11.57 was the last trade. After that I stopped. So today I didn't take risk more than 10,000. Maximum lots also did not exceed 6 at all. 6 also because the price for the lots have fallen a lot. This is for 16th May expiry. So I started with a loss. I was long. Then I booked the loss and came out. Then I shorted the market, made a little money. Then I saw the reliance graph. I went long and a little more. Then I shorted again. Mostly here I was playing with the reliance and VIX movements. Nifty movement was a resultant of the reliance movement to a large extent. After 12, 3 4 trades were done and I stopped. Total profit will look meager at 526. In fact, the charge is around 300, so net profit is hardly 250 bucks. But again, this exercise is not to make money a lot right now. The purpose of what I'm doing right now is to instill discipline in my approach. Over to the bonus section now. One of the questions I was asked was why did I invest in Fusion Microfinance? It is a very small company, 4720 crore market cap. Firstly, the EPS has been going up steadily. PE part has been coming down, which means the prices have not increased for this stock despite the run-up in the EPS. Secondly, if you see the revenue, 266 crore, 494, 720, 856, 1151. There has been a good handsome rise in the revenue. Profit before tax, minus 54, 68, 157, 24, 512, 663. And note these are the annual numbers EPS minus 97, 
सेवन एट फाइव टू दिस वॉज द पेंडेमिक पीरियड थर्टी एट फिफ्टी सो द ट्रबल पार्ट वॉज समवेयर अराउंड द पेंडेमिक एंड पोस्ट पेंडेमिक आफ्टर दैट द बिजनेस इज बीन ग्रोइंग नाउ इज दिस प्राइज इन टू द स्टॉक वैल्यू द इंडस्ट्री पी इज अराउंड ट्वेंटी द स्टॉक्स पी इज अराउंड नाइन दिस इज नॉट द लोएस्ट पी बट दिस इज नॉट द हाई पी इधर नाउ वन क्वेश्चन फॉर यू एंड आई गिव यू द आंसर टूमोरो बट यू कैन पोस्ट द आंसर इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बेस्ड अपॉन द क्वार्टरली रिजल्ट ऑब्जर्व द ई पी एस रो पॉइंट वन 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 पॉइंट फाइव सेवन एट पॉइंट नाइन एंड सो ऑन दिस इज गोइंग अप स्टेडिली ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव सेवन थर्टीन पॉइंट वन नाइन दिस इज द एनोलाइज ई पी एस फॉर लास्ट फाइनेंशियल ईयर बेस्ड अपॉन दिस ट्रेंड वॉट विल बी द लाइकली फॉर्वर्ड पी फॉर द करंट फाइनेंशियल ईयर लेट मी रिपीट वॉट इज योर प्रोडिक्शन दैट इन जून टू जीरो टू फोर विच इज क्यू वन ऑफ दिस फाइनेंशियल ईयर फॉलोड बाई क्यू टू एंड सो ऑन For the remaining four quarters, based upon the business growth of the past, will be the earning per share for this stock. That earning per share, whatever that number is, multiplied by approximately ten, will be the price of the stock one year down the line. Market sentiment seems to have turned green in the last two days. However, I am still skeptical. I think larger players are making retail comfortable so that the retail people can continue the buying, and then there will be a large fall. That turbulence can go up any time. I am not an expert on political commentary, but my personal feeling is that we are heading towards a coalition kind of situation, or at least not an absolute majority. This will be a problem for market. Markets will like certainty, beat any party, which means a solid majority where decisions don't get stuck. So, like I said yesterday, Plan A, let's continue to invest and trade. Plan B, let's be prepared for a fall, and what we will do if there is a fall. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic remaining day. I'll see you tomorrow.